Atlanta Scott Lighthouse. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been seeing this image for I don't know how long. <laughs> um, quite a while now, over about a year. If anyone has any, the only thing I can figure is this is talking about source or um, people, elevated humanity, okay? And groups going off. I keep hearing to save the world in God's army. Okay, guys, I mean, I'm not no artist, but this is what I keep seeing of all these groups going off into the future and each one just getting bigger and bigger and doing something to um, work on humanity. It feels like it's just groups of people that set aside all their differences to come together for common causes. And it starts off with this, with this one group here and it feels like it's something that's already started. And then it just takes on a life and a mind of its own going into the future. Now I realize there's a lot of groups and things going on now from the past, but this feels like something that I keep hearing God's army. Um, so take that, how that resonates. I don't, I don't know if, um, I, I don't think they're talking. I mean, not everybody is, is everyone believes in spirit differently. Right? So I don't believe it's like talking about God, God. I feel like it's just talking about people of like mind. Okay. Working for a bigger purpose. Okay, and it, it being the healers, the seers, the mystics, um, some kind of movement. Um, if anyone gets any ideas or intuitive hits off of this, please put it in the comments. Um, I'm going to show y'all. Um, I used, um, I asked, I did try to attempt to do a reading on it. So I'm going to set my little thingy up here because I went ahead and I, and they, and Guys, when sometimes when I do readings, I'll have um, and I've seen other 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 um, readers do the same thing. Go to reach for a deck, and and your intuition or your your guides will step forward and say, "Nope, not that deck. Grab this deck." So they had me grab several decks, and I am going to um, tell y'all. I did one of them off camera. I'm going to do the other two on camera. I don't know. Um, how much time I've got for storage. I just got done uploading some videos and I already took them off. So um, I pulled it in. They told me the Denise Lynn deck first, which is the native spirit deck. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, when I turned it over, I got sacred mountain and they, they said here. Okay. Um, and then in order, starting at the top, I just started at the top and I just went around like going into the future. I got smudging ceremony. I'm going to show you all these. I got, I got smudging ceremony. Okay. Then I got shapeshifter. Like, I feel like the shapeshifter is talking about the, the, uh, going into the 5D people's consciousness. <clears throat> then I got spirit keeper of the West. Um, they've been, they've told me before <clears throat> my spirit guides and my angels that like spirit keeper of the West, spirit keeper of the East, spirit keeper of the North and spirit keeper of the South are where main energetic energies are that maybe that's where some of these other um some of these ones are like um i would think this would be north like if we looked at it like north south east and west this would be spirit keeper of the north east west or uh north south east and west so actually i felt like this one went here but that was that was how it came out in the lineup then i got circle of life vision quest Peace Pipe, Medicine Woman, and last but not least, I got Spirit of the Water. So, looking at it like this, what it feels like is, it feels like it's talking about, um, first of all, it feels like it's talking about um, everything being purified, being purified, um, going forth into the future, people, um, Past karma, past negativity, negativity, everything from humanity's past has been, how do you want to, how do I want to say, energetically, purged, cleansed, um, okay, and going forth like a clean slate in some sort of way. And then shapeshifter, shapeshifting from regular, you know, pe things of the past to shifting to this raising consciousness higher higher mind um and 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 
conscious mind being more blended. And then more people wanting to keep peace or, um, how can I say, um, going forth just with this, you know, like a brand new day, dog is the, the, I get, I'm, I'm pulling to mind the rune of dog is of, um, breakthrough of personal change where a lot of people are just no longer living in the 3d. They're going close towards the 5d or you're more in commune with your angels, ancestors and doing things right. And then circle of life. This is making me feel like, um, as we go into the future, all these little groups, they, you know, it starts like the ripple effect. You know, it starts off here, then it gets bigger, 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 bigger. As we go more to the 5D, okay? And then we have vision quests. And it feels like, and that that's what a lot of this feels like. More people going, where do I belong? Where, where do I fit in? Um, I'm being reminded of that movie. What was that movie? Um, oh, my gosh. It had one word. Um, and it was about the girl that she had to choose between, like, if she was going to be um, work inside the city, if she's going to go off with the crazy people <laughs> that were um, jumping from building to building, and everybody was really in touch with their psychic abilities. Um, and, 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 oh, God, what was that movie? Maybe somebody can help me with that. Um, anyway, having a vision quest of where you can do the most good, okay? And then we've got Peace Pipe. This one, again, is making me feel like more people saying that we want peace and we'll get it no matter how we have to do it, okay? Then also, um, hang on guys I had a phone call um, and then shaman abilities come into the forefront more people talking to spirits more people and then of course the spirit water too more people doing things from a spiritual perspective does that make sense that, so that's what I pulled for this um, let me see um, uh, what was the next one after that um, uh Sweat Lodge, to me, that's talking about changing, um, again, letting go of more past and stuff, being the tune of your own drummer. So it's just starting to repeat there. So, okay. In my mind, it is anyway. Um, Shapeshifter, beating to the tune of your own drum, right? Sweat Lodge, smudging. So it's, it just started over again. So my instincts were right on that. Okay. Now, then the other thing, um, let me pull this work your light oracle deck. I'm going to move these out of the way, guys. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any better ideas. That's, that's just what I keep getting from this. And they told me this deck first. Now, work your light, Oracle. How are these people going to work their light? How are more people going to use their energies um, to actually um, help change? Um, what do you want to tell me? Just what do you what Spirit guides, angels of mine, spirits, uh, angels, ancestors of other people. What? How do you want to tell us how humanity's going to? Um, how? How? How is this going to help affect us? Change us? Um, oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What else? Just give me what. What is it you want to tell us? What else do you want to tell us? Get up right now. Right this way. Okay. Um, I'm going to move this because I don't know how many cars are going to, when they tell me to stop. Pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Okay. So again, people that's telling me that more people are going to be just more in touch with, with their angels, their ancestors, uh, retreat, rest, be held. Um, that's feeling like going into hibernation of some point to get more knowledge, more information from your spirit guides, birthing a new age, um, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being guys. That feels like that goes right there <laughs> or even the outskirts of it. You know what I'm saying? Here, we'll still put this up here, but birthing a new age, uh, boundaries. Well, this could look a little bit like boundaries, maybe. Uh, where do you need to establish better boundaries? And look, I'm on this card, guys. Look at this on this card. It's coming from a circle. Look at there. I never even noticed that before. So, this feels like enlightenment. Wow, does that not kind of... Guys, look at this. Uh, okay, so we got the circle here, right? And then you got all these different people, all these different land, uh, different uh, people from different lands, different places, right? And she's in the middle at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Oh, well, I got way more than 10 there. But look at that. Better boundaries. But I don't think that's what this, this is talking about. I think this is talking about just these different groups and stuff. Uh, Mintock and Longing for Home, the original light workers. Well, that makes a heck of a lot of sense here. We'll put it over here. Light workers. Awakening. A new way of being. Integration. Guys, I've been talking about that forever. Protection. Call back your power. Look, there's another circle. Call back your power. Cut the course. Soul retrieval. Answering the call. Oh my gosh. The order of these cards coming out, guys. Actually, let's just do them like that. Warrior woman. There's that feminine energy, guys, I've been talking about. Now, this one came out upside down. So it's saying, you go first, the universe will catch you. You go first. Guys, that just seems so... Wow. 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 That, that's they're telling me that's the last one. Um, wow, you go first, the universe will catch you, guys. That just feels so oh my gosh! Wow, I'm glad I finally drew it out. All this warrior women picking up the sword, answering the call. Man, guys, I just feel like this. All this stronger warrior feminine energy coming forth that's just talking about, I know it's not in the right order, talking about fighting for what's right, women being more bigger groups, maybe bigger groups of people in touch with their feminine sides, willing to fight for what's right. How are you answering your deepest calling? You go first, the universe will catch you. Light workers, soul retrieval. Integration, guys. Integration. This card means so much to me. Um, I am now going to y'all take that how it resonates. Like I said, this, this, and guys, I've never. This is the first time I've drawn this thing out and done this. So that just means, oh my gosh, guys, I, they've just been talking to me and talking to me and talking to me. Let me do a couple of these real quick. Um, this is the healing waters. What do you want to tell us on healing? Healing the planet, healing ourselves, going into the future. What else do you want to tell us? Wow. What do you want to tell us? Healing, healing the healing waters. Primordial waters. They're saying, um, primordial waters. Merging, blending, deepening. Again, guys, if we're talking about our souls, self-conscious, or consciousness, and higher selves, and I figure no polish is leaving marks on the paper. What else do you want to tell us? Spirit guide, angels, ancestors, of, of other people, of mine, anyone that wants to come through, guide these cards, guide this message. Oh, my gosh. How, what do you want else do you want to tell us? Cut just once. Okay. They said, I heard once. <laughs> uh, what's on the bottom? Deep sea diving. Way of the mystic. Learn through experience and depths. Going deeper than you've ever gone before. <laughs> Guys, so this is definitely talking to me about going into the future and us being in a place where we've never been before. Um, inside of ourselves. The higher, the higher mind, they're saying. Waterfall, inner power, unbridled confidence, claiming your 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 place. More okay, more people coming into the light, claiming their place of where they belong and standing up for what they believe in. I'm hearing. Um, pink dolphin, celebrate fun, unbridled joy, open heart. So again, they're talking. Look at this light above her, guys. They're talking. They're making me feel like this is her angel. And she's like, "Yes, I hear you, and I'm and I'm and I'm gonna do what you tell me to." Wow, um, that's just what came through to me, guys. God, all the color in that card. Clear water, clear vision, com confirmation, right timing, opportunity. Guys, a lot of this has to do with divine timing. Ah, oh, listening to your compass, they're saying. Uh, oh, can y'all see that even? Listening to your compass. Look at all these. Look, look at all of these. Out your outer, uh, her outer aura, her outer chakras. 
God, this just feels like going into the future and just being part of the 5D. Oh, wow. Um, Selkie, come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. Guys, this is feeling like a lot of people realizing their true power, their inter their internal grace, I'm hearing. Um, being in touch with your soul tribe, I'm hearing. Selkies, that might be a group. Maybe a group will be named Selkie. I don't know. The water carrier. What really matters? Reflection, reprioritize. So, guys, this feels like... This is feeling like the world right here. You know, I would say God's got the whole world in his hands. It feels like Source having um, all of the world. Um, all of the world. Let me get this over here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, all of all of the um, the world, the upper universe, universe, and there's a full moon. Higher consciousness. The primordial waters I'm hearing. And more people going, wow, okay. Okay, they're they're saying something about people communing, communicating more like on a telepathic way. Something about the waters of our of our body, the moon, intuitive hits, being more connected. I just heard mermaids. They're also making me feel again like divine timing. This feels like an hourglass in the middle again. They're just, it feels like they're talking about people. Talking across the lands. Uh, guys, take that how it resonates. Okay. Let me see what else we got here. Um, <clears throat> um, the rip <coughs> Again, guys, look at there. The ripple effect. You know what? Uh, you know what? Oh, wow. Okay. It's the ripple effect. Something starting and then rippling out. That could be something rippling out, couldn't it? Details are taken care of. Wow. Okay. Part of something bigger. So this is part of something bigger, right? And it has a ripple effect. Going into the future. Oh, I think that's awesome. What are you thirsty for? Body care? Take a take a breath. Again, guys, I've got that that one of of all the the higher mind with the conscious mind going through uh, jumping timelines. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Starseed again with this card. I keep hearing Starseed every once in a while with this. So Starseed energy coming in. <clears throat> this almost feels like a, another gateway or a portal. Jumping timelines. Connecting with your angels, your ancestors, higher vibrations. The 5D, they're saying today. And guys, I don't know if y'all can tell. It looks like there's a nose here and lips there. I'm busy. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to stop it here. I've got people knocking on the door. But um, this, um, I, I'm probably even going to continue and do some more on this. And I'll do a, 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 an addition to it. Uh, hang on a minute. Guys, this is just really, really huge. Wow. All right, guys. Um, Till next time. Uh, maybe this is just a ripple effect. All right, guys. Lighthouse. <clears throat>